Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoGPT Tutorials. Today, we're going to be talking about PrivateGPT, a new project that allows you to interact with your documents privately using the power of GPT. But that's not all, we have plenty of other exciting updates and tutorials to share with you in the future. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Without further ado, let's dive into today's video and explore the amazing new projects and tools. PrivateGPT is a powerful tool that can be used to interact with your documents privately. If you are looking for a way to interact with your documents without sharing them with anyone else, then PrivateGPT is a great option. What is PrivateGPT? PrivateGPT is a Python script that can be used to ingest documents and ask questions without an internet connection. The script uses the GPT-3 language model to generate answers to the user's questions. The answers are generated locally, so no data leaves the user's execution environment. What can Private GPT do? Private GPT can be used for a variety of tasks, including answer questions about your documents, summarize your documents, translate your documents, generate text based on your documents, write different kinds of creative content, and more. How to install and use Private GPT. First, you go to Private GPT GitHub repository. Link available in the description. Interact privately with your documents using the power of GPT, 100% privately, no data leaks. You use Private GPT and ask questions to your documents without an internet connection using the power of LLMs, 100% private. No data leaves your execution environment at any point. You can ingest documents and ask questions without an internet connection. Built with Langchain and GPT-4 all and Llama CPP. Environment Setup Instructions for ingesting your own dataset Put any and all your files into the source underscore documents directory to read locally. Supported extensions and documents. CSV. Word document. Evernote. Email. EPUB. HTML file. Markdown. Outlook message. Open document text. Portable document format, PDF. PowerPoint document. Text file, UTF-8. Run the following command to ingest all the data. Ask questions to your documents, locally. Using this command. Read how to at work. System requirements for installation. Python version. To use this software, you must have Python 3.10 or later installed. Earlier versions of Python will not compile. C++ Compiler If you encounter an error while building a wheel during the pip install process, you may need to install a C++ compiler on your computer. For Windows 10 and 11 To install a C++ compiler on Windows 10 11, follow these steps. Install Visual Studio 2022. Make sure the following components are selected. Universal Windows Platform Development. C++ CMake Tools for Windows. Download the MinGW installer from the MinGW website. Run the installer and select the GCC component. This is a test project to validate the feasibility of a fully private solution for question answering using LLMs and vector embeddings. It is not production ready, and it is not meant to be used in production. The model selection is not optimized for performance, but for privacy, but it is possible to use different models and vector stores to improve performance. Go to code section and copy this GitHub link. And move in your local system and create a new folder. For example, private GPT. Open this folder. 
and go to File Directory section and input CMD and open your command line user interface. Copy your GitHub repository link. Paste in your terminal. Input git clone and pass a repository link and input now. Open your repository using cd private gpt command. Install requirement dependencies. Using this command, copy and paste in your terminal. And wait few seconds for install all your dependencies. All dependencies installed. Go to in your private GPT folder. Edit your example.env file name and save only.env. Open your any text editor and see your all environmental variables and LLM modals. If you change any modal and modal path you change now. But currently, I don't need to change anything. So I check all and save my file. Create a new folder. Folder name is modals. Go to your environmental setup and download the two models and place them in a directory of your choice. Default LLM modal. If you prefer a different GPT for all J compatible model, just download it and reference it in your .env file. Embedding LLM modal. If you prefer a different compatible embeddings model, just download it and reference it in your .env file. So, I download these modal, so wait few minutes for complete downloads. After downloads these modal, copy and paste in your models folder. Your source documents folder is more important for you. You read any document and PDF you input here. For example, I using private GPT tool and I communicate with this source file. So you chat any of your document. You paste here. I chat with these data. Next, you run your code to copy this command and paste in your terminal. Model not found error, no module named langchain. So I update my langchain. Using pip install upgrade langchain command. After update my langchain, I rerun my program. Copy this command and paste in my terminal. And wait some time for run program. Mend 5 to 10 minutes. The time depending upon your system. After successfully run your program,
ask questions to your documents locally. Copy this command and paste in your terminal. Enter your query. And you ask anything related to your documents. And start chat privately. Private GPT is a powerful tool that can be used to interact with your documents privately. If you are looking for a way to interact with your documents without sharing them with anyone else, then Private GPT is a great option. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the AutoGPT Tutorials channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest AI tools and tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our other videos for more informative and exciting content. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.